Yeah, be a hundred percent real with our guys, like we have been in it. That's why I just told them in there, and I literally, I started off with, "I'm gonna be real with you," as I have for the 21 months I've been the head coach here. For three and a half quarters, it was really good. We got to figure out what in the world happened the last six minutes of that game, because what happened the last six minutes of that game was really, really bad. It was garbage. So three and a half minutes, really good ball. Last or three and a half quarters, really good ball. That second half of the fourth quarter, really bad ball. It ends up getting out of hand and goes from a one possession game to um, whatever it ended up being. It looks really, really lopsided. And it wasn't. So th- there, if you're looking for a quote, I, you can have it. But like, there are no moral victories. Like I told these guys, I told our guys that we could play with anybody in the country. I know we can. Got one of the best quarterbacks in the country there. You got a running back room that's as good as anywhere. Our old line played their butts off. That defense put their put that gold, gold helmet all over these cats. We can play with anybody in the country. I don't know. You can ask ask them what they think. I'm sure you will. I would I would say we can play with anybody in the country. The first three and a half quarters. That's real. There are no moral victories like that. It just. Hopefully you guys have figured out. I'm just going to tell you the truth, and that's the truth, and that's real. There, you no, know, like we're one on one, and tonight wasn't good enough. And we came up here to win the football game. I don't know. Do you think that's what happened? Awesome. Sure. Awesome. Well, since I'm the head football coach, I'm telling you that that's the smart thing to do is kick the field goal to not go down two possessions. So it certainly felt that way, right? But I I couldn't tell you without watching the film. And I'm not being a jerk. I'm just telling you, let down to be in a one-possession game, the fourth quarter against one of the top teams in the history of college football. Like, is it a letdown? It shouldn't be. If it is, I got to coach it different. I got to coach the situation better. I got to have our team better prepared for that situation. Clearly, I didn't. But I will. I'll get myself right. So nobody, nobody harder, just so we're all on the same page, there's nobody harder on our staff, our kids, and myself than me. And we'll get it right. We'll get it fixed. And we'll be ready to roll. I promise you. And we'll work so hard that it won't happen like that again. We we were able to contain the quarterback there for really the entire game. <clears throat> you know, I thought our front, up front, defensively, a lot of the twist game stuff, a lot of just the edge rushes were effective. Um, the the point was to contain him and not let him get it running around, which is where he he's so good. Uh, I thought for the most part we did a really good job with that. Um, you know, three sacks. Um, did a relatively good job on third down. Defensively, um, we're able to contain him, but I thought we played really hard up front. I thought T.O. did a great job mixing up the blitz packages, mixing up the pictures. Um, I thought plan-wise it was really, really solid. Yeah, um, I thought you had to go get points there in the drive uh, and make it a one-possession game. If you don't, it's a two-possession game, and I thought it was going to be hard to chase it with just over, I guess it was five minutes left there. Um, So that's why I took the points with the thought that our defense has been playing lights out. Um, I go back and I would still do the same thing. Defense is playing lights out. You take the points, you secure a one possession game, you get a stop on defense and essentially set up a two minute drive to go win the game. Um, you get out of that without points and, and we had struggled, we struggled inside the 10 tonight. Like, um, you know, a little bit of what we got defensively picture wise, a little bit of not executing, but we struggled down there. You could tell we couldn't run the ball at all. And I didn't want to drop back pass down there tonight. Uh, until we had to, and that's why I just thought take the points and make it secure a one possession game. Defense has been playing lights out. Like I said, I would go back and do it over again.
points early, but they weren't touchdowns. And then they got down there twice and got touchdowns. So that, you know, that first quarter right there to come away with field goals only. Points, of course, but, you know, I'm sure you'd love to punch it in there. Yeah, is there a question? Well, is, is that, how did the offense feel? They moved the football, got points, but was it, was it a disappointment or say, you know, maybe not? Yeah, I don't understand your question. We want to score touchdowns in the red zone. You score field goals, you end up with six points instead of 14. Yeah, it's a terrible feeling, as it should be. Expectations, you score touchdowns. Coach, you have the, you got, you just, early on, you got a couple of deep shots, hard miss on the three. Did they do something different to kind of take those deep shots away later in the game? He's kind of had an escape and intermediate and deep shots weren't really there with, uh, with Byron after those first yeah, we, you know, we didn't execute the the three in a row, um, and I don't know that they did anything different. We we didn't really go back to it um, until we absolutely had to there at the end, where we had to go push it vertically a little bit uh, when kind of got into a two minute drill there with five whatever it was twenty on the clock. Um, but you know, I thought we protected extremely well. I knew as we got going towards the end there that it was going to start to not hold up like you wanted to. Um, but I thought protected well, we probably could have. Um, I just felt like we were in a groove there in the second half a little bit where it felt like, man, you don't want to just sh- shoot it where you're running the ball effectively. You know, we made some really good halftime adjustments in terms of running the football, uh, did some different things to get the ball out on the perimeter. Um, it was a really tight game. I didn't find the need to to just errantly launch it down the field. What was your thought process defensively, either schematically or personnel-wise, that gave Alabama so much trouble? Well. Leo, can you hear us? Go ahead. Coach, in your pregame speech, you talked about don't play no logo. Win your one-on-one battles. And for three and a half quarters, that's pretty much the way the game Yes. You also talked about process over outcome. The process looked good for most of the game. Did the defense just get tired at the end and, and that was the biggest problem? It sure felt that way. It felt like we wore down there at the very end. Um, and that's why I said earlier, I got to figure out exactly what happened. Uh, Got to figure out if it's the way we practice, if it's the way we called it, if it's the way our kids' mindset was. I got to figure out what it was, and I got to fix it. Um, but I think you're absolutely right. It certainly looked like we wore down there. Coach, last question. Thank you for your time tonight. You talked about, you know, if you're, if you're the game is gone, you can play with anybody. Tonight you proved it, didn't you? Um, I mean, I thought for three and a half quarters, we showed that we could play with anybody. Uh, we, we did not prove at the very end that we could play with anybody. We couldn't go finish. Thank you, Coach. You're welcome. Tip. Awesome.